Hey, I'm Alex. What up, that nerds? I'm Luke. Today, Luke and I are going to be doing a programming challenge. And since I've been doing this for a while, I get a bit of an advantage. I've done a little bit of web development before, but my focus mainly has been around data analytics. So for this challenge today, Alex is picking the problems. I get to pick the programming challenge. I get to pick the machine that he's going to use. Hey, Luke, what's up? How's it going? Good. <laughs> so here are the challenges. We're going to have one hour to complete the following programming tasks, and they're all going to be web applications. You're going to create a React application. That's one point, create an Angular app, another point, a Vue app, another point. And then you're going to print Hello World in each one of those frameworks. And each one of those is worth one point. Then you're going to do a little calculator. It's just an addition that's going to take two fields and print out the result of the sum of those two fields. And you're going to get one point for each one of those tasks. And finally, you're going to create a to-do application in each one of those frameworks. Are you ready for this task? Um, I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous, I'll be honest. I haven't done web development, haven't messed with uh, React in probably over two years, so this is going to be a tough one. Well, I got to be honest with you as well. I've done, uh, you know, my fair share of web programming, but I've never done a to-do list, so that last one might get me. I'm just hoping that I can get through the Hello Worlds, uh, and then we'll see from there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what computers do you have there? I have my daily driver, which is my M1 Max MacBook Pro. I have the yep. M1 Ultra, you know, you don't want me to use those? No, 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 no. So I've got an Asus. Um, this is actually a pretty good computer, so you're probably not going to yeah. want me to use that one. And then I've got this Chromebook. Um, it's a Dell Chromebook. What kind of processor are in that? Oh, I think it's an i5. Okay, all right. Mm, this is looking good. So what do you think? Um, I'm thinking I'm going to go with the Chromebook. Oh, I was hoping you wouldn't say that. Uh, <laughs> so I think I can get through this challenge, but I don't think it's going to be fun. All right, Luke, uh, let's separate, go our separate ways. Make sure you set a timer and be honest about this. And I'm going to be honest too, and I'm going to set a timer. <laughs> and I'll see you back here when we're done to uh, evaluate and score the uh, results. Awesome. I'll see you in a little bit then. All right. Good luck. Good luck. All right, so unfortunately for my device, I'll be using the Lenovo Chromebook Yoga 11e. Yep, it's an 11 inch laptop with an Intel Celeron processor, N2930, 1.83 gigahertz. So I'm looking forward to the challenge, but I'm also not looking forward to being slowed down by this machine. So for this challenge, I'm going to be using my M1 Max. It has 64 gigabytes of RAM and about four terabytes of storage. So this thing's almost fully maxed out and it doesn't really slow me down in my day job, so I'm looking forward to using it. All right, I've got my Chromebook here. It's a Lenovo. I actually did a video on this recently. I did already set up Linux on this, but I did not install any of the frameworks. Actually, I, I have Angular on there, so. Is this cheating? Maybe, but I didn't create an app for this project yet. So instead of just following these uh, requirements step by step, I'm going to do everything Angular related first, then everything React related, and then everything Vue related. Hopefully um, that'll get me streamlined. I'm going to be Googling a lot of this. Um, I have a timer here that I'm going to set one hour remaining. Okay, so we have the React, Angular, and Vue app. I'm gonna go with uh, Vue first, uh, since I have uh, familiarity with that. Um, I don't even know if I have JavaScript on here. I guess the clock is ticking, so I better get going. Pressure is just like, whew, I'm not used to this. So I can just go over to localhost to see if this is running. And whew, I got one point. Oh my gosh. Oh. Here we go. Localhost 4200. And there's the app. I get a point. Boom. Um, make the view app print hello world. Ooh, okay. Let's run this app again. Oh, look at that. <laughs> hello view. It says to say print hello world. We're gonna call it close enough. Okay, what's next? Two text boxes that take integers and a button that sums the integers and prints the results. This is actually pretty neat. Okay. I'm not feeling so good about this. We're at eight minutes into this and all I'm doing is a hello world right now. Oh, this, this is gonna drive me crazy. Okay, here's my Angular app and there's the hello world. I get a second point for that. Yes. <sighs> Next, I need two text boxes that take in integers. Okay. Button function to sum of two numbers using Vue.js on Stack Overflow. 
This is sort of cheating, but he said we could Google anything and I wanna move on to the next thing. I could have never done this within an hour if I didn't find this. Numbers. So, 10, 15, some, 25. Good. View app done. I wonder how much slower it is on Alex's computer with the Chromebook. Also, I don't know how this works with a Chromebook and JavaScript. Okay, let's see. One plus two, and then I click add, and it doesn't work. In Angular, you need to do two-way binding in order for this number that I'm gonna type into the box to be saved into the, um, into the model. Okay, one plus two equals three. Boom. That is done. I know that seemed a lot more complicated than what I remember, but maybe I'm getting rusty and old. I did that in Angular. Now let's do a to-do to -do list in Angular, really? Oh. Let's check this out. I think it may be ready. I don't know. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going to change this. We're going to have to customize this, obviously. So we need the add to list and we need to mark things as done or in other words, delete an item. So this is, yeah, this is exactly what I need right here. There we go. Let's add a task. Hey, no way. It just works. It just freaking works. Well, that saved me some time. Thank you to uh, uh, Geeks for Geeks. <laughs> nice job. I might lose points on that because we're not marking them as done, we're just deleting them. But you know what? I'm gonna take that and move on to the next thing, which is React, because I wanna get going here. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> we got a React JavaScript app. Oh yeah. And I love like crossing this off as I get it. Okay. Okay, now we have to make it say, hello world. Let's go over here, create React app, and I'm gonna use NPX for that. I wonder what takes uh, longer to create, an Angular app, a React app, or a Vue app. We're done. Okay, so we've got our React app. Let's go in there. Okay, compiled successfully. That's a point. React app is running. Shout out to fireship.io. And then if we go back to it, bam, you got it. All right. I got 26 minutes left, come on. What? It's giving me warnings. Oh, we've got hello world, so that's good. That's what I was after, and that's another point. <laughs> Two text boxes that take integers and a button that sums up the integers and print the results. Okay, and I think it was npm start. Oh, yeah. Uh, 20 plus 15, add numbers, 35. All right. I don't know what's happening right now. It just says the page is unresponsive instead of giving me like what's wrong. That is just unfriendly. Wow, this one really got me. You know what? I might need to work with strings instead of numbers for the values of the text boxes. What? Ugh. Okay, it's gonna get the value parse in. Oh, we don't need to parse the end there. We don't need to parse in. We're just gonna store the value, add three. I did it, but I feel kind of, uh, I feel kind of bad about that because now I got eight minutes and I have to go and do view. Uh, to do list, win against Alex, not to win against Alex. No, I want to delete that. Um, okay, so we can add to it. We can check it off and yeah, we can do all the stuff that we need to do with this. Bam. Okay, we're at eight minutes left. We now are on to the Angular app. Wow, I, I am just like really surprised. I didn't think we were gonna get this far. I really thought that I was just gonna fly through this, but this is... Okay, is it running? <gasps> yes. Okay, I got the view app running. That's one point. We may be like two minutes left. We may fail this, like not getting at least the Angular portion because I'm having uh, issues on my computer. Come on, VS Code. 
Source. Um, what's the next steps after this? Run. Uh, we just hit the timer. Uh. Source, open, app. Ah! Oh. I'm so bummed. Oh, so close. Uh, the timer's off. And here's my Angular app. Uh. Maybe Alex will let me have this. I don't know. So are you done? What's up, Alex? <laughs> yeah, uh, I finished it all. No, no, I didn't oh, finish it all. Man. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit embarrassed because I didn't get to get through as much as I thought I would. Pride got in my way, and I wanted to do more of my own coding than just looking it up. Uh, I was exactly opposite. Five minutes in, I'm like, nope, I'm going to transition over, just go over to Stack Overflow and just rely on Stack Overflow. I'm actually opposite of you. I'm happy with how far I got, uh, even though I didn't finish. That's awesome. You got the React app done, you got the Vue app done, but you didn't do the Angular app. And then you did Hello World in both React and Vue. And you also got the Adder done in Vue and React and to-do lists in both Vue and React. Wow. Amazing. So that's a total of 12 points for you, Luke. Congratulations. And I've never done web development like that before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the power of the internet. Uh, and the Angular one, I would have had, I was about to install it and it did. It loaded right after the timer went off. I know the feeling because on my Chromebook, I had to yeah. wait for a long time. So I'm gonna use that as an did excuse for not finishing as many as you did. How did that go for you then for using a Chromebook? Because for the, my M1, right, I downloaded it within a couple of seconds. It was like, it's there. You know what? Uh, it did get in the way, but only uh, initially. So when it came time to downloading the CLIs, installing the packages, all that stuff takes an extra long time on the Chromebook. But as far as the development experience itself, it's fine. Like I can actually type the code just as fast as I can on the M1. The problem is, waiting for the packages, waiting for the builds, that kind of stuff takes a little bit longer, but it's doable. Yeah, it was crazy how it was just seamless working on this compared to the Chromebook. So I definitely would have been at a disadvantage if I had to wait for that. Uh, I would not <laughs> have gotten this far. <laughs> Next time we're switching. All right, so let's go over my stuff. I got all three apps created, that's three points. I got two Hello Worlds printed, <laughs> that's two points. So that's a total of five. I did React and Angular adders. So at that point, view is done for me. I didn't get any further with view. And I got only one to-do list in Angular done for a total of 10 points. <laughs> what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No! <laughs> laugh it up, laugh oh, it up. I'm sorry, I'm not. <laughs> I thought for sure you were going to kick my butt in this. <laughs> uh, I got to say, you did an awesome job for a beginner. I <laughs> was struggling a little bit, but, uh, you know, let's switch it up next time and we'll do a challenge. Maybe on your channel, we'll do a data challenge. How's that? Perfect. No, that sounds good. And just as a disclaimer, people don't come to my channel for web development advice because what I did uh, on the computer is really dirty. Uh, well, I mean, this goes to show you, you kind of have to do what you got to do sometimes. And sometimes you just find the resources that you need, kind of like you did, and use that. Use that to your advantage. And then if you need to learn around that information, you will pick up whatever you need to. And that's not a bad way to learn. You implement, you figure out how things work and you kind of deconstruct it and learn it that way. Not bad. No, exactly. I mean, I learned so much during this experience just about how the environments work and how to build things and Google and using those type of resource was just invaluable at just like speeding up that process. And also we were dealing with computers that were $4,000 <laughs> versus $78. Mm -hmm. So don't let the price of the computer stop you from getting things done and learning. Right. This was awesome. This was fun. If anybody wants to see this again, leave a comment down below if you like this. Uh, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. And of course, uh, thanks to Luke and I'll see you all later.